Jim Capoeira, showing you guys another combination you wanted me to see. I mean, you asked me to see. Uh, this one actually was from, I think it was the end of April, this year, 2012. Um, I did a combination, and people thought I was using my Kung Fu, because some of the movements are in Kung Fu, but they're incorrectly solely associated with Kung Fu. Uh, any movements, especially dynamic uh, dynamic martial art like capoeira, which in my opinion is the undisputed, you know, king of 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 movement. Period. You know, has these kind of movements in it. So, behind the camera, it's Jeet Kune Do instructor, my friend Brandon, helping me out. Is my friend Scott, who has a YouTube series. Please tell him about that. CBNationSeries.com, uh, CB Nation Series YouTube channel, CB Nation Series on Facebook. Superheroes, action oriented. You like it. Very well written, very well acted. Yes, sir. Check it out. Yes, sir. Please <laughs> check it out. You'll give it a like, give it a favorite. You might see somebody you know in it. All right? <laughs> uh, so, here's the combination you want that I want you guys to see. It starts off, all right, with a, with a, with a low kick, jab, low kick combination. So, uh, I did a low kick check, a jab, he blocks here, all right? Low kick right here, boom. Now what happens here is that sometimes they check, sometimes they don't. Just happened the guy I was dealing with, he checked, which is what, which I like like him to do. So he checked, boom, and, and remember in Capoeira, remember how he used it when I had that, like, pulled his leg out? That's what I did. As soon as I pulled his leg, I simply twerked, twerked. And this is what a lot of guys do, they twerk, twerk blind. Don't do that. When you twerk here, when you look at your shoulder, all right? Twerk again, shoulder check, see that? We don't really land on his knee, we just stop. Just throw the check and turn all the way. This is where the groin, the groin strike happened. Boom, when he came down, he went like, uh, and his body went down. I allowed me to torque back into the male lua. So I torqued back into the male lua, compasso here. Kicked him, kind of clipped him on the face. Made him mad, remember you guys? <laughs> all right, so he looked like he was going to come in to hit me, and I shot like I was going to shoot the double. All right, he drops his hands to defend, and that's what allows us Allowed for the next movement. I'm gonna get a little space here so I don't actually hit him with this move. But as I kicked him here, I shot for the double. Notice how I have my guard up so that I don't do the wide face double that a lot of wrestlers do. I always keep the guard up just like we do in, in Capoeira. His hands drop down to the fin and he moves his leg back to stop the, because he's ready to get his sprawling on. And that immediately allowed me to go right to the boom, double kick into the face. That produced the knockout that you guys asked. Well, it wasn't a complete knockout. Well, if you get technical, it's a 12 count knockout, but he gained consciousness inside of a minute. So that was the combination, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, you already know what to do. Leave it at the end of this uh, video. <clears throat> Help me out behind the camera. It's my friend Brandon, right here again. My friend Scott, Stevie Nation, guys. Don't forget this head coach Ross of Attacks Jim Capoeira, the Long Beach Quilombo. Ashe Capoeira. Thank you for your time.